The S&P 500 down for a third straight session Wednesday afternoon. Are we in for a September swoon? Well, let's ask Ross Gerber, CEO of Gerber Kawasaki in Santa Monica, California. Uh, good afternoon, Ross, and you're looking good after this Labor Day weekend. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Well, Ross, um, September has traditionally been a sort of a uh, tough month for stocks. What's setting off this bout of pessimism uh, this time? Well, I think, you know, September typically is the worst month for stocks on an annual basis if you look at each month. But it's usually this confluence of different things that happen at this time of year. Right now, I think there's a lot of uncertainty about the future of monetary policy, the future of inflation, and the future of the Delta variant and how it's going to affect the economy. So these factors are now creating some caution in a very, very expensive market. So if we think about maybe interest rates going higher or Delta slowing the economy, and then you think about valuations, one has to really say, you know, we need sort of the perfect world for stocks, current valuations to make sense. And, and are we in this perfect world? Maybe not. So, um, so that's, I, I think, a little pullback in stocks is probably healthy and we'd be buyers of any correction. And you mentioned expensive. We had a, a torrid summer uh, for the equities market with exception of just a mild, oh so mild pullback in mid-August, how should investors position themselves for September and this fall? Well, I think that the economy is still really, really strong. So I think the bouts of pessimism about the economy are false. I think that you need to look at retail back to school. UCLA is coming back in a couple weeks. The, the campus is like brimming with excitement. Uh, beat LSU. You know, the, the kids coming back to school is one of the most bullish things for the economy because so many towns, especially college towns, survive on the economic activity around school. And then all the back to school spending that we've seen, and we've added a new position like in a stock like Target to, to capture this consumer. But the consumer uh, retail spending that we're seeing is off the charts. So so we're very, very bullish actually going into the fall, especially from the consumer perspective. Despite, uh, for example, I think it was yesterday when uh, Goldman Sachs pulled down its economic forecast and some people thought- That makes me more <laughs> bullish, you know. But uh, no, you, you know, the areas that are most impacted by this COVID issue is international travel, uh, concerts, and other entertainment venues, restaurants, the same people that have been affected by COVID the whole time in the entertainment industry, much more challenging time. But when you're looking at the rest of the economy and technology, it's booming out there and people are traveling. They're just not going internationally. They're all, they all just left Santa Monica. There were so many people in Santa Monica this weekend. I have never in my life seen it this busy. And it was people from all over the country and many of them were driving. I've never seen so many different license plates among the cars in, in LA. So I think when you look at the way consumer behavior has changed, some industries are being affected dramatically, but other industries are booming because of it. And I uh, can't let you go without asking about Coinbase. The last time Rossi said that might be a good way, a stepping stone for amateur investors who are interested in cryptocurrencies. Uh, the shares are dropping further today, this time on news that the SEC has threatened uh, to file suit against uh, Coinbase over its lending program. Uh, shares have pulled back 7% over the last 30 days. Do you see this as a buying opportunity or should people stay away uh, because it may drop further? Oh, no, it's a buying opportunity. We just added it to our fund at GK. Coinbase is a new position. We're going to add to this position on weakness. Coinbase is, I think, the best platform overall for, uh, I would say, retail uh, crypto traders. Um, it has the biggest depth. It has great management. Um, you know, the CEO, this guy, Brian Armstrong, is very, very aggressive. And the SEC clearly needs to be educated better about the different products and services in the crypto community. And the way they're addressing these things head on is actually really bullish to me. It's that they're actually engaging the regulators and asking for clarity and wanting direction. That is very bullish to me. That is what I want out of a company. We're buyers of Coinbase. We're long-term investors. Right. Uh, the chief legal officer is pretty transparent on that blog post uh, he made about it. Yeah. I mean, I just think they're approaching this the way it needs to be approached. We want to do this the right way, but it's happening and you need to get with the program and help us you know, do this right. And it's the same issue my firm faces when providing crypto products to retail clients. We've created a framework to do this. We have no guidance from regulators, so we created our own, and we're trying to really protect investors and do the right thing. But the SEC needs to get with 
the program. The world has changed and they need to change with it. Okay, thank you, Ross. Our thanks to Ross Gerber of Gerber Kawasaki. I'm Fred Katayama in New York. This is Reuters.